room temperature milk shot up in price because it's just in such high demand. I make eight dollars off a room temperature milk purchase. Huge, huge, ginormous. Okay, I am now going to overstock on everything. We have new pasta, OJ. We're good on the milk and water. Okay, if it's not new pasta, OJ, milk and water, we can fuck. We can keep fucking it up. All right, I need an old oil. Old oil, old pasta, coffee. We'll do one of each. Old oil, old pasta, coffee. Two things of cheese. Uh, one of the red soda and one of the green soda. Two things of cheese. Red soda, green soda. Uh, new flour. We ran out of new flour. I'm going to do four things of new flour. Fuck it. Oh, three things of new flour. Fuck it. I'm excited to see how I like it. I was a day late to be able to get it this week. So I can't start mine until the 10th. That means I won't get mine until the 10th either. Well, oh yeah, the 10th is a fucking while away. Yeah, I had it around before and it was fine, but I was getting like the veggie options, which I'm kind of iffy on. Um, so getting uh, heavy protein options are going to be, that's that's my fucking alley. Just heavy meat, kind of salty, you know, that's my shit. Not in like a dick sucking way or anything, not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's not, <laughs> that's not what I meant when I started that sentence. Oh, fuck. I didn't buy the license. So I guess today's another saving day. And then tomorrow will be the buy everything day. Uh, we're good on new oil. Could do a thing of old flour. An overstock on a thing of powdered sugar. And white label soda. Old flour, powdered sugar, soda with the white label. Jimothy, you have shelves to stock. Gotta love the big salty meats, right, fellas? Nothing like salted heavy meats. Is Factor better than HelloFresh? If you want fresher meals, HelloFresh is it because you literally get the ingredients, you see them with your own eyes, and you cook them yourselves. If you want convenience... That is not that far off. Like, the factory meals are still pretty healthy. I think there's a, they're typically more salty than, uh, like, they just have more sodium in them than the HelloFresh meals. But if you still want something that's healthy and you don't have to make and you just throw it in and do it, uh, then factor. It's really a convenience thing, in my opinion. Somebody who's tried a fair bit of both, it's, it's a convenience thing. But, yeah, I'm about to go dicko mode on this factor order that I'm going to do. Look at him stalking away. We're going to hit store level 17 today. HelloFresh is for the real adults who cook. Factors for those of us who can't cook or do it on time. So I can cook HelloFresh. I've done it before. I'll probably do it again. But it's like, it's a timing thing for me, man. Cooking, for me, cooking is something you do on like a day off. I don't know. Having to cook and work. <laughs> 
like a nightmare. Um. I love cooking. Yeah, I don't hate cooking. I really am not a fan of doing dishes afterwards. That sucks ass. And then, uh, just the time it takes. But, like, the act of cooking itself, I'm not, like, you know, I don't recoil in fear of or anything like that. I doth say I think we need a couple of coffees. Couple of coffees. I don't really need an extra thing of peanut butter. I think we have water in there still. Yeah, I'll do a thing of salt. I'm gonna do your job, Jimothy, because I was a little late. Night, Squire, be easy. All right, Goku, have fun with the Frieza launch. Um, I actually do need an order of eggs. Uh, like I said, I think I have water in there already. I love that the uh, the refrigerated stuff is like it only displays in the fridge, within in the fridge, right? So I could keep eggs at room temperature storage wherever for like a month before I put them. But when I put them on display, people Blue have to think that they've been cold the whole time. Are you thunder? Blue ball, we got blue balls for big perp. How you doing? I think it's seventeen more fucking months. What is this blue balls comment? Paying a lot of money for ingredients only to fuck up when cooking is an awful feeling. Yeah, I can't imagine. Goku talk about the legends. Oh, he was just interested in Dragon Ball Legends shit. The freezer that dropped tonight. He was talking about it earlier. Eggs are restocked. Let's fucking go. Happy I've never burned anything I've cooked. I'd be hella mad if I'd... I'd rather burn myself than the food. Those burns get nasty. If you ever burn yourself in a cooking accident. They don't need to stay cold in stores. The customers can ignore the chirping coming from the egg cartons. True. True. Okay, let's get two things of old oil, a thing of bread, a thing of new oil, a thing of old pasta. Things of old oil, a thing of bread, a thing of new oil. Looking good. Yeah, we have so much money for tomorrow. Did I have a question favor to ask? I'm trying to finish my decks in Violet. Would there be a place to go or someone who can help me with that? Um, if you're in the Discord, Big Perp, uh, go to the Pokemon chat. Go to the Pokemon chat and say, hey, anybody on Scarlet Violet, I need these, you know, I, I need to trade Pokemon and then trade them back so I can finish my decks or whatever. And a lot of times there's people who will happily help you, but I don't know if that many people are still playing Scarlet Violet anymore or not. We definitely have an issue with all the checkout slots being full. That's real.
Can I send a link to the Discord? Yeah, I'll get you. There you go. If you're not in the Discord, there it is. Don't tell Thunder, but I'm going to steal food for the sick and needy. I'm running this like a big evil corporation. I will not stand for that even one bit. I will gerrymander the section of wherever you live to vote Republican so fucking fast. You're going to have no idea. As a newly acquainted legal alcoholic adult, I find things to mix, uh, finding things to mix drinks with has been really fun. Yeah, it's nice to experiment with that shit. Find out what you like, find out what you don't like. Plus, you're young enough that a bunch of sugar doesn't fuck you up yet, so. Enjoy that while you can. He knows! There were still two waters left in there. I better not see you throw it away. Good shit, Jimothy. Ma'am, are you all right? Oh, there she goes. Would turning the cash register 90 degrees make a longer line? Good question. We'll try that tomorrow. The problem is that they would finish checking out like here, and then they'd have to turn around and leave, but I don't know if that would make an issue or not. But a very good question. Oh, Purple, you have KC in, flat, uh, in chat. He's also in the Discord, but he's also... Uh, Needing help with his, his Pokedex. I'm lucky metabolism lets me tolerate just about anything. Still, the trade-off is that my knees are starting to go. Jesus. Yeah, I get an older real blast. Hey, yo, this woman bought a lot. A couple, a couple of teas? What is this? Do we have a new purchase record? How much is this? $44. It's always $44, dude. I always think... I'm waiting for one that's going to be over $50. Haven't seen one over $50 in a minute. $39 happy customers. Income only $1,000. Salt... Eggs and milk all went down. What the fuck? Who does this? Salt price is tanked through the fucking floor. Oh my god, in this economy? And some kind of milk. Which I need more of. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to make it. Our store is not going to make it. Okay, first things first. License for the new shit. I could spend all my money and expand. Cake, cake, candy, cereal, chocolate bar, yogurt. Need that. Um, does it say where this stuff needs stored? Is it anything I don't have? Shelf, shelf, fridge. We have, we have fridge space. Shelf, shelf, shelf. Okay. All right, we can work with that. Let's get another shelf. Let's get one of everything. Baba boy. How do I get in my store? Okay. Just chocolate bars. I might get another shelf, but I don't think it fits in this corner very well.
If I were going to rearrange this store to optimize space, how would I do it? Exactly the fuck like that. Fuck, okay. It's not pretty, but it's getting the job done. Shelves back to back. I don't quite have the space for back to back shelves, I think. Is this how this would work? Yeah. In theory, if we put them here, the customers line up this way. I gotta pull them back a little bit. A little further. And I can even drag him this way. So now, in theory, they can line all the way up to over here, right? That's what I'm saying. If I could hire someone who can buy the products for me, I'll never have to work again a day in my life. Okay. Yogurt. Easy peasy. Good God, got out of fucking yogurts? Jimothy's going to be doing that for the rest of his days. Is this... Did I order an extra thing of oil? Um, I'm gonna get another shelf. Fuck. You're in Discord now. Let's go. And I don't know if you saw earlier or not, but KC uh, KC Crimson or K Crimson uh, Flash in chat. He's also in the Discord. He was looking to do some trades for Scarlet Violet for Paradox shit. So okay, one rice, one tea, one spaghetti, and another one of every new thing we just got. Rice, spaghetti, tea. Okay, spaghetti, we can get Jimothy on that. Tea, that's a Jimothy job. The new shit, I gotta set up. And then I gotta set the prices, and then we can open for the day. Spaghetti, that looks like a job for Jimothy. Alright, we had enough to get the new license and overstock on everything. Well, maybe not overstock, but like, we're, we're fucking stocked. Fucking yoked, ready to fucking go. This is so chill to watch while grinding Dead by Daylight. How's the Dead by Daylight grind going? 
I've never been any good at that game. Played it a couple of times, never been any good at it. And I also have a whole extra ass shelf for shit now. I probably, I didn't even need this shelf right now. I could have put this product down here. I would have had to have moved the oil, but... Whatever, extra shelf space. I'm sure it'll come in useful sooner or later. Alright, let me price everything, then we're open for business. on the chocolate bars. Oh yeah, I didn't buy the extra one of these. Five sixty, let's go. P3 Singularity. I'm trying to get better at his play. It's very stressful to do this. Yeah, dude, Dead by Daylight does stress me the fuck out. I get that. The Singularity, the camera guy? I think it's something else. Yep, okay. There's so many killers in that game. I haven't even seen all the killers in that game since I started playing again. Okay. One thing is cereal. We'll do two things of the easy milk. I think we're ready to launch. Oh, and a thing of regular milk. Just cereal and milk, really. Two of those guys. Regular milk. Was it cereal? It wasn't cereal. Oh, no, the new cereal. Fuck, dude, the new cereal. Shit. I have more than one cereal now. Crispy Chibi. Go do your damn job, Jimothy. Alright, so we're once again kind of low on funds, but we're back to a state where everything today is basically pure profit. No oh, shit, don't forget to price yogurt, good call. Good call, even $2, no need to fuss about it. And, oh yeah, we get to see the new cash register line looks. Because if this line can be a little bit longer than last line, we're going to have less people bitching. The line will still be as long, but we're going to have less people bitching. And that's what's important. you got to minimize bitching as a corporate overlord. This playlist is such a good playlist, man. The fucking goat. I don't have to stock up on fuck all today. What do I have? We got oil, we got rice. Already got the coffee. Already got the pasta. A lot of the staples are covered, man. A lot of the staples are covered. I can order more peanut butter just to have it, really, but that's more of a luxury than anything. I'll put it in the cart, you know? Just a flex. What's the next goal for the store? Um, so when we hit level 20, we can get another cash register. Um, and if we're going to get another cash register, we're definitely going to need more space. And the next space upgrade is 1300 bucks. So I think the next goal is to upgrade space. I can either upgrade space. I wish I could fit a shelf here, but I don't think a shelf fits in either one of these spots. I could maybe put it in diagonal on this spot or something. Um... Upgrade space, then upgrade shelf, then upgrade license, and by then we should be level 20. Or upgrade space, then buy another shelf and get another license, and then we'll have more food shit.
That is not the button I hit. What the fuck? Why does that zoom? OBS changed his hotkeys on me. That zooms me in and out now. No, that's fucked. That never used to zoom me in and out. That always used to uh, make the window larger or smaller. Oh, I locked the aspect ratio or something weird. What is OBS doing to me? Whatever. I'll leave my cam how it is. Fuck it. I just wanted to center myself a little more. That was it. I'm on my brother's account and he doesn't know LOL. What up, Song? Who was already subscribed here, but it's your first message on your brother's account. <laughs> oh, fuck. We need apple juice. Stat. Things almost got mighty dicey. Updates never stop for OBS. Well, they're all just so different to me because I'm barely learning how OBS works in the first place. And now there's also, like, updates that change how it works. And I, I'm just getting it down for the first time. But no, it's all good. It's all good. I know I've overdone it on that milk. I could put flour in the carts. Original cereal in the cart. I know we're good on powdered sugar. Old pasta. Old pasta, old cereal, old whatever. This looks like a legitimate... Yeah, we're really functioning. Really got it working these days. Clef flip. Think of the gift sub to Bob Ross. I don't think turning the register worked though, because I think they were still bitching the line was full, even though there's plenty of room for them to stay in the line. Clef flip. Thanks so much for the gift sub, bud. The support these past couple months as I really got back to streaming has been super nice, and it's kind of got me back up on my feet. So thank you guys again for all that. Shop looks like it's booming. Yeah. Yeah, we need a second register sooner than later, but I don't want to put it up because I don't want to man it. But yeah, we got a guy stalking. We got a guy doing the the stuff. Taylor Swift shops here. There she is now. Hey, Tamora, why do you have a cock between two balls <laughs> in, the, in the chat? Still have customers not using their eyes. Uh, they don't get stuck anymore, but yeah, they'll be like, oh, the line's full, but now it's not full because the line can go back way fucking further than it could before. See, the checkouts are full. No, they aren't, lady. You're literally in the line. Guy, just get in line. It's not full. Okay, so it, it's not the wall that was having them say the checkout's full. It's the fact that they just don't want to stand in a line if there's too many people in it, which is good to know, right? It's not like a bad thing necessarily. It's just good to know that's how it works. We can just confirm that's how it works now. Let's get two of those bad boys in the cart. Let's get at least one thing of cheese in the cart. I thought I was good on coffee. Maybe we need more coffee.
Oh, Jimothy, you've got more shelves to stock. Anything beyond five people in line is considered full in this game? Yeah. Yeah, good to know. I didn't know that before, but I do now. Because what we thought before with the way the register was set up, their backs would basically like be touching this thing, and then they would bitch that the line was too full, so we turned it sideways as an experiment to see if it was the number of people or if it was like a link thing, and it is, yeah. As we found out, it is the number of people. That's how it was on my old job at Dollar, Dollar Tree. People would get in the line, and two seconds later would bitch saying the line is too long. Do you actually hear people like bitching that the line is too long? That sucks ass. Weirdest thing ever had happened to me. I was working at a, at a retail store that rhymes with Schmickditas. And there was a guy, and like nobody was questioning if this guy had money, okay? He didn't like... He wasn't like in a suit and tie, but he looked like one of those like sport sporty dads. Where he had a fucking visor on like he golfed. And the fucking... The khakis and, and, the, and the polo. And he had a nice vehicle parked outside and all that stuff. And we had this tiny girl. Tiny girl. I think she was like a... She like just got out of high school or something. But real, real little blonde girl. And she was checking She was checking out all of his stuff. And he ran his card. And it got declined. You know, whatever. Shit happens, right? Um, happens to me when there's money in my account. You know? Uh... But she goes, oh, sorry, sir, a card got declined. He goes, okay, let me run it again. And the guy runs it again. And it gets declined again. She goes, sorry, no luck. He's like, okay, well, let me use a different credit card. But he's getting frustrated. And I, you could tell it's because he thinks he looks bad. Like, nobody gives a fuck, right? We're going to do this, for God's sakes. Anyways, he runs his other credit card, and his other credit card also get, gets declined. And he looks up at her, and he just yells at this tiny girl. He goes, like, loudly, so everyone can hear him on purpose. Really weird, really douchey. He goes, this card has $50,000 on it! And, like, he's yelling at the girl, so I'm like, hey, buddy, figure it out. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know if I was going to get in trouble for management talking to him. Dude probably would have pummeled me to a pulp. I was tiny back then. Um, but I'm like, you're just fucking yelling at a cashier. What the hell are you doing, man? And she just kind of looks up and goes, sorry, sir. But, like, your card gets declined. That's not her fucking fault. I don't know. That, that was that was one of the weirder things that ever happened to me in retail. Did any of his cards ever work? I think he just left. And given how weird he was about it, he was probably too embarrassed to ever come back. I can store shit on the bottom? Game changer. Absolute fucking game changer. Thunder, you've never been tiny. What do you mean? This would have been around a time when I would have weighed like, like 160 pounds. Yeah, pettiness of Thunder Mart's going sicko mode right now. We're making all the money. I'm not gonna have the $1,300 to expand at the end of the day, but I will have enough to restock and have a sh like really restock and have a shit ton of money left over. That's what I weigh. Don't make me feel tiny. Okay, but how tall are you? My point is that, like, I, I was I was tall, but I was really skinny. What's the locked door? I thought it was going to be storage, but it's not. I don't know what the fuck's back here. Storage, I have to go the room over. I have to go the building over. About 5'7". See, you're shorter, but you know what I mean? You're not like... Like, I. what I meant when I said I was tiny, I mean, like, I was string bean. Like, skin and bones and a little bit more. But not a lot a bit more. Scrawny, yeah. Yeah, it's just when I when I said bro would pummel me, I just mean like dude was like a like a 40-year-old dad with a beer gut who golfed. Can you upgrade storage? I don't think so. Hi Ash, how you doing? Good to see you, good to see you. I don't think I can upgrade storage, but if I do a little maneuvering, I can maybe fit another one of these things in here. Maybe not. It looks like it was made for three. Ironically enough, kind of had a uh, similar thing recently. I was buying family friend's kid a bike for his birthday. I went to check out. My card got declined. It wouldn't register, and I showed the guy I had money. And I just felt embarrassed. Yeah, you don't have to do all that. If your card ever declines, you just look at it and be like, huh, that's funny. And then tell him you'll come back. Tell him, like, I'm, I'm going to get this sorted and come back. Usually, in my case, i got to call my bank. 
This game looks fun. If you want a vibey night, stream or no stream, if you want a vibey night, Ash, throw it on. I saw this game at first and I was like, I don't get it. Did not get it at all when I was watching other, stream other streamers play it. Didn't get why it bumped in the Twitch category at all. And then I finally bit the bullet and did it. And I'm like, all right. I kind of get it now. Twelve hundred bucks income for the day, not too shabby. These games are always deceptive. Yeah, and this one's done pretty well too. I'm excited for new updates and stuff. Uh, cake and one of the sodas. Is it this? No. Oh my God, cake is going for a million dollars a pound. That one's good. The price of this one appears to have shot up. Okay, today is about... We can't... Ex we just barely don't have enough to expand the store, so today is strictly about overstocking these fucking shelves, brother. Let's do... Alright, let's get into it. For the milks, I do not care. Me and my mom accidentally ran a red light today. Dude honk, shit happens. Dude proceeded to follow us to the store when we were, uh, we asked, he yelled at us. Said we didn't see it, proceeds to threaten to, what the fuck? Yeah, I was watching another streamer the other day. He was telling a story about how one time some lunatic started following him, so he just drove to the police station. And then when he drove to the police station, the lunatic pulled in jumped out of his car and sprinted into the police station so he could try and tell the cops what happened first. So he could get the... People are insane, dude. People are fucking crazy. So he could try to get the edge on him. But the only story he had was, I think this kid almost caused an accident. He didn't. And then the streamer said he walked in there. He was like, yeah, so this guy's been following me. It's really freaking me the fuck out. And the cops look at him. They're like, you're free to go. Um, and then they held the other guy there for a while so the guy couldn't follow him home. Really weird shit. People are insane. I feel like people are particularly insane with driving for some reason. Road rage. Uh, old pasta. Thing of flour. Thing of powdered sugar. Old pasta. One thing of flour. One thing there. Oh my goodness! I can't believe I could put stuff on the bottom shelf. That frees up so much room for activities and shit. Look at that. Better not have the milk. You son of a bitch. Am I good to open the store? Do I want to buy anything? If I don't want another license, I want growth. Yeah, 1300 for section 4. So that's where all of our funds are going. Yeah, I can keep ordering shit, but we could open the store. Fuck it. Shit was wild. He said we could have killed him. No, not by a mile. The light had literally just turned red. He may have dinged our tail if he gunned it as fast as possible. Dude was out of his mind. Yeah. How much till next expansion? Uh, we'll get the next expansion today. It, it's $1,300, and we already have 1K. I just, I didn't want to just barely make the cut and then have nothing left to resupply with or anything. Um, need red label soda. Bread. Salt. That's really it. 
That's really it. We're looking good. Red label soda. Probably don't need two of those. Yeah, Jimothy's putting in good work. Can anyone speak from experience on coconut rice? No. I've had coconut milk. It's pretty eh to me. But no, I don't even think I've heard of coconut rice. Check the storage tab. Earlier somebody said you can upgrade it. Oh, no shit. I don't really feel like I need to now that I know you can put stuff under the shelf. But it's good to know that I can in the future. You fucking can! Okay, well, son of a bitch! We got storage forever now. I just made Jimothy's walk a little further. I didn't have to buy that right now. That's a lot of space, though. Oh, we need more milk. Somebody just came in and bought all of our fucking milk. What the fuck? Ooh. Use coconut milk to cook rice. I see you. No, I, I was just getting used to, uh, I feel like I was just getting used to almond milk. And then as I'm just getting used to almond milk, I, like, just start almond milk. I'm like, okay, it's better for the environment, it's vegan, whatever. And I just start doing almond milk shit, and then I immediately start reading, like, that's, that's when all the news exploded, where it's like, almond milk is actually horrible for the environment, and you shouldn't be doing it. Coconut milk is the way to go. And I'm like, I tried coconut milk, I'm like, fuck this, man, I'm going back to dairy. Y'all don't want me on almond milk, fine, you win, but I'm going back to my dairy, dude. Clef Flip, thank you for the gift sub to Jade Antastic. Thank you for the gift sub to Jade Antastic. Almond milk so bad. I just wish I would have got the memo. My timing was just so bad. I was like, you know what? This will be good. I'm going to, you know, less use of cows and their fucking farting into the ozone layer, which we fixed, I guess, kind of. But fuck it. I'm going to take a progressive step. And right as I took that progressive step and started getting the almond milk, turns out it's fucking awful. <laughs> Turns out it's fucking awful. And like, apparently coconut milk is the way to win, but I don't like coconut milk, dog. Thank you, Clef Flip, again for the gift sub, bud. Haven't heard from Jaden in a while. He streams every great now and again, but he's mostly just raising his family. He's got the whole white picket fence, the wife, the shit ton of fucking kids. He's, he's got the whole nine. Not coconut milk, it was oat milk, Knights nice, DJ. You're right. I, I've been saying coconut milk. I haven't meant that. It was oat milk. People, That was the one people were saying to go to. That was the one that I tried and I didn't really fuck with. Almond milk was fine. It just tasted like watered-down milk. I would get, like, the vanilla kind. That, that helped a little bit. But it was uh, oat milk was the one people were like, oh, you got to do oat milk. And I was like, I don't like oat milk. I don't think I've had coconut milk. I got those flipped in my head. I'm sorry. The Pokemon Red Race was just... That was good, but when Danny Seifa got chewed up, it was just doomed. That is the best playthrough I never finished, I would say. Because that one was a slapper. Um, do we need old pasta? No, we're good on old pasta. Uh, oh, new oil. Probably need new oil. And we'll just do... We'll do this. Let's do one of these and then all that. Now, unfortunately, because I bought the storage space upgrade that I didn't actually need, uh, we are not going to be able to expand today, but that is what it is. I'm glad I have the storage space. That was $800 out of the budget that I was supposed to be saving. Whoops. Boom, 
ba -da, ba -da. Got fucking Green Hill Zone on the slow mix. I miss Danny sometimes. He's got a whole ass life going on. Yeah. Green Chill Zone. Damn right. That's what it sounds like. I think everybody lines up over here when they're just waiting for the cash register. Which as soon as we hit, we're level 18 now. As soon as we hit level 20, I have to expand the store first. Expand the store, hit level 20. I'm getting a second register. I'm hiring a second Tim to do checkouts. Then we'll never have this issue again. Or something. My brain went to Sonic. What is Sonic.exe? Like a video or something? How big of a store can you get? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out. Danny Rhyme and Thunder are the first DB tubers I started watching. Yeah, fucking OGs. I outed myself again. Uh oh. I don't even know what you added yourself about. There's so many people in the store. I actually do need a second register. We out of anything? Low on cheese. Need eggs. Taylor Swift's back. She took her private jet here. She lives across the street. Um, white label soda. I guess I could put it in my cart. OJ? Oh, shit. We're actually astoundingly low on some of this shit. Sparking gameplay is going to be goaded, or Sparking Zero is going to be goaded, for sure. For sure. God damn, lady, you buy enough shit? Two coffees? Wait, I think that was a new record. I think that was a new record on biggest sale. That looked like it might have been 60 bucks or something. Maybe I, maybe it was 40 again. Are we going to try to guess their prices? Uh, this is going to be $18. Eight? Oh, fuck me. All right, then. Way off. This one is going to be... 27 $24 41 okay I'm bad at this I'm actually very bad at this game two oils that's eight dollars six dollars all right that was almost seven I was really close there three cheeses lady I'm low on cheese uh 1842 1271 Shh, damn it okay Couple cheeses, couple yogurts, some eggs. Um, it's twelve dollars. Fourteen oh three. Okay, that was close. Trade proposal. Thunder sends me the hand and the hands and sparking zero, and I said thunder the hands and sparking. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure the hands are gonna be going all the way around when that game drops. Um, thirty one twenty four. 3059. Ooh, that was close. How many pillows do you have on your bed and how many do you actually use? Cleflip says six pillows on the bed and uses two. Okay, Cleflip, do you live with a woman? Do you sleep with a woman in your bed? Because I don't see a lot of men who have more pillows on their bed than they use. I'm not saying it's bad if you do. But I'm... <laughs> I'm saying, man, when I'm sleeping on my bed that is only mine, that shit, <laughs> that shit is two to three pillows and they don't ever come off the bed unless I kick them off of my sleep or something by accident. But if you are ever sleeping in the same bed as a woman, that shit is 90 pillows high and eight pillows deep <laughs> and all of them are getting tossed before you go to sleep and all of them are getting put back on when you wake up. It is so... Decorative and charming. 
Hey, what up, Jersey? I'm sorry, shit's rough. More pillow than bed? I've ashamedly been a part of <laughs> beds where it felt like you walk in to go to sleep for the night and the pillows cover over half the bed coming out. Whole fucking thing. <laughs> Cliff says, no, I just have too many pillows. That's fair. I got four pillows. I use all of them too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yo, we profited for the day. Let's go. Came out more money than we went in. Barely. Can't afford the expansion, but now we do a full restock, and then we have mad fucking money. We have mad fucking money. All right, the price of cake was up for exactly one day. I have two. I use one the second just in case is just in case somebody's joining me. Yeah, you could step that game up a little bit. Which chocolate milk brand is the best of all time? I only know Nesquik, but I know Nestle's like a shithead company, so I tried to quit buying that. I haven't had chocolate milk in so long. Um, I just got to restock on fucking everything, man. White label soda. We'll get one. We'll get two OJs. Two cheese, two egg. Uh, what was it? Two cheese. Two eggs. Uh, we need a water. And one peanut butter, one rice, powdered sugar. Fuck, dude. It's a lot of shit. A lot of shit we got here. Still have milk in storage. Still have both kinds of milk and yogurt in storage. Good to know. Everything else, Jimothy, you gotta get to work out there, pal. It's not gonna stock itself, and I'm definitely not doing it. You are stocked the fuck up. That's what I'm saying. That's the goal. If we get overstocked when the day starts, then everything is... Everything for the day is pure fucking profit. So I don't have to stop and restock anything myself or like reorder anything myself. The day is pure profit. Um, okay, new oil, spaghetti, powdered sugar, rice, new flour. thing in new oil. Boom, max it out. Perfect. Clef Lip, thank you for the gift sub to stream four star. Appreciate you as always. How much longer do you need until you can get a new cashier? I could technically have a new cash register right now. I can't get the new cashier until in the upper right. I have to hit store level 20. So when we hit store level 20, then we can crank it up a notch. All right, fuck it. As long as Jimothy's doing his job, we're ready to send it for the day. Yeah, he stocked the OJ, which is what I was worried about. Got the soda. Um, did I order a water? I did. All right, we have a water, so water restock incoming. We're square, man. Today's going to play itself, boys. What made you want to start playing this game? Um... 
So I saw it popping on Twitch, because sometimes if I'm if I'm trying to, you know, because I'm still trying to grow as a creator, especially since the, the Europe arc, since I got back from that, I'm trying to regrow again as a streamer and a creator. So I scour the browse section some days, and I look for games that look kind of obscure that stick out. Because the streaming tech to that is, is that you find a game that's really high on the Twitch directory list, but when you click on it, there's not that many people playing it, and then you go live with it that day, and then even if you don't have that many viewers, you're still like a top two or three streamer to that game. Because what's going to happen is people are going to click on it, and they're going to see one game with a shit ton, or one streamer with a shit ton of viewers, and then maybe a couple other people with less viewers, and they want the smaller environment. Um, but anyway, I was doing that, and Supermarket Sim popped up, and there were a, a bunch of streamers playing it, and I was like, this is a weird fucking game for this. And I came back two or three days later, and there were still, like, a shit ton of people playing it and a shit ton of people watching it. And I was like, what is the appeal of this? I don't get it. But I told M about it, and then M played it, and then I was like, alright, fine, I'll bite the bullet on it. And I picked it up. And day one, it was like, okay, I kind of got bored after two and a half, three hours and kicked over to something else. But day two, ever since I got them doing the work for me and I'm not counting change anymore, I've kind of been hooked. I've kind of been hooked. Timothy is never going to get... Well, Tiny Tim here is not going to get a break all day. His cash register is going to be full. I used to do that. I was the top streamer for Hyperscape for like a week when I played it before it shut down. Damn. But yeah, that's the way to do it. Also, Cleflip, thank you for the gift sub to Vegeta. Vegeta, welcome in. Is this Minecraft music? It's just called Lo-Fi Video Game Beats. I actually don't know what is the background noise at any given time. Vegeta's a real one for watching Thunder. Oh, we need peanut butter. Did I not get a thing of peanut butter? Nah, we need peanut butter. Fuck it. Oh, shit. Peanut butter and coffee. This is going to sting the budget because these are the two most expensive things to order. And now we have them a plenty. Okay, we should still end the day with. I would like to end the day with 1500. If we end the day with 1500, it's a huge W. This beats from Animal Crossing. There you go. Remember, Thunder was actually the first Dragon Ball YouTuber I ever watched. Ironically, the first video of Thunder I saw was this GTA 5 playthrough. Man, I did get viewers for GTA 5. I didn't stream it. I don't think. I think it was just YouTube. But I don't think I don't know if I was really on Twitch. Like I was on Twitch, but I don't know if I was on Twitch like that at that point. Every time I replay GTA 5, I play it with your playthrough. I don't think that's weird, but I don't think that's weird because I use, like I have uh, a couple playthroughs I used to go back and watch like once every year or two, and it was like a fucking comfort show for me. Just a couple playthroughs I was really, really ingrained with that like I I didn't grow up watching them, but like uh, when I first started really being on the internet, I saw them like as they were coming out, and then I'll still go back to them and just listen to them run it back. I've been here since How to Make Your Hair Spike Up in Xenoverse 2. Anybody who anybody who subscribed to me off of the the most sarcastic video I've ever made, which is probably that one, that's how I know, like, <laughs> you're here for the long haul, man. You get it. You get the humor. Can I make you feel old? I'd rather you didn't, but go nuts. Tear it up. Gray my hairs a little. Uh, cereal, old pasta, and tea.
I think me buying two T's just single-handedly detrimented the budget, by the way. I think we would have made the budget I was hoping to make, but then I bought two T's, and T's fucking expensive as all get out. And now I'm gonna miss my fucking quota! Thunder, I've been here since I was a child. Now I'm a grown man with my own little apartment. <laughs> you gotta describe child. I found an old Instagram account of mine from when I was 10, and it's me challenging Thunder to a battle in Xenoverse 1. Holy fuck, dude. I mean, how old are you now? 12? I'm just kidding. That's a joke. Um... Yeah, goddamn. Tamora's been following me for almost 10 years. Two 21 year old Jesus Christ. I am old. Fuck, dude, I didn't get to it in time. I was gonna order more of the goods before it closed for the day. No way we hit our goal, right? Maybe we do. People are buying a lot of shit. We technically need 1,300. Ideally, we would have 1,500. 1,500 would feel really good. You don't look old, though. You genuinely look like 26 at the oldest. I think part of it is that, uh... I mean, I started doing YouTube at 19, right? So, I mean, I guess a lot of people started younger, but it's like I was pretty young when I started doing it. Thunder doesn't look a day past 62. There you go. Remember what, the OG GTA 4 playthrough? Yeah, so if you get to the end of that one, I think the last couple parts of that GTA 4 playthrough were all like two hours or something. Because I was freaking out because it was like a couple days before GTA 5 came out. And every time I booted that game up for a two or three hour recording session, I thought I was almost done with it. I thought I was really close to finishing it. So I was like, eh, I'll knock it out today. And then I wouldn't knock it out. And I'd be like, oh no, I have more left. So I'd come back the very... I I usually didn't record back-to-back -back days, but I came back the very next day and then did another GTA session, GTA 4 session. Didn't get it done. And then I went back and did it again. Didn't get it done. I was like, wait a minute. I'm not going to finish GTA 4 before 5 comes out. And I was starting to panic. I remember that. Remember that. We're definitely hitting our 1500 goal. This is crazy. It's all those fucking 9 p.m. shoppers, dude. Everybody comes in one minute to close. Buys the whole fucking store out. What up, Gator? I don't know why follow, which is weird sometimes. I think it's got a cooldown or something. Was the video called Team Badass versus Team Longhair? It was something. I think Badass came last. But it, it might have been Team Longhair versus Badasses. Sounds like something I would have titled a video back then. Yeah, I said it earlier today, Ghostly, but that red race is uh, its the best playthrough that never got finished. Real behavior, hence why I refuse to work retail for the rest of my life. If you can get away without working retail, I feel like everybody should have to work retail and some kind of service job once for like three to six months. Just so you know what it's like, right? You got to instill what the fucking feeling is. And then do whatever, right? Make your own choices. But I feel like everybody needs that arc of, of customer service and dealing with people and knowing what retail workers go through. That sounds about right, Clef Lip, yeah. The time I've spent watching Thunder feels like a lot longer than it was. That's I know you didn't mean to type that, but that's the funniest thing you could have typed. 
The time I've spent watching Thunder feels way fucking longer than it actually. <laughs> that is the funniest thing you could have typed right there. That's hilarious. Six years? Good God. I'm trying to remember when I started following Ash. I cracked into the speedrunning community. First, I followed a sunshine speedrunner named Sided Williams. Dude still streams every now and again. Um, chill ass dude. I feel like I've known you longer than that. Yeah, I've never been to a GDQ either. Isn't that fucked? I'm meaning to go. Hey, 151, thank you for the two years. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, I started following speedrunners just at random one day. It was Sided Williams, then it was Nos Spimmy 99. Nos was in chat earlier today. Uh, then it was Pants, because Pants was one of Nos's mods, and I just happened to check out Galaxy, like, a couple days after I was in a Nos stream, and I saw Pants' stream, I was like, wait a minute, I recognize that name, he's a mod in Nos's chat. And then, uh, from Pants I met Bird, and then from Bird the whole fucking block blew up. You haven't? Why did I think that's where I met you? We have, like, briefly exchanged words in person at Twitch cons. Yours for me says December 28, 2015. I'm following you for a long fucking time. <laughs> it would have been a raid. It would have been some speedrun raid. 